Hey y'all, the very first skull video I ever did was of a wild pig because at that time I had so many wild pigs that were coming in and I was trying to help uh, just share the information. Now I'm going to redo a pig today because I've advanced the process just a little bit. I've gotten a little bit better at the whole thing. So join me today. I'm going to show you just one example real quick. So there's a pig, you know, complete if you will. This is a pig that got washed three weeks ago. You can see where it's starting to oil up everywhere, which is perfectly natural. And this was a pig that was done just a day or so ago. <clears throat> now, all these animals are completely different. They have their own characteristics, and I don't know if that's doing justice, but I'll pull the camera up and show them like that. But um, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this grease in any animal I had a subscriber one time say, drop it in acetone. You've seen me do the acetone piece dozens of times in these films, but I'm going to try and give you a time frame today on when uh, it will have done its job. So bear with me. Let's look at just a classic white bone creation skull cleaning video, and then we're going to do step B to make your skulls go from this to this. Thank you for watching. All right, first order of business is we're gonna remove all the flesh, all of the tissue, and we're gonna separate the jaw from the top of the head. Now, when you're doing pigs, it's like doing two skulls because you have two different pieces. You got the bottom jaw and you got the top of the head. You gotta treat them separately. Get everything off, rule number one. Next, grab you a burner, set a pot on it, put your skull in, fill it with water, drop in some sort of soap, and then bring that bad boy to a boil until the skin on the nose splits. And then as white bone creations law, we wanna spray into every hole and every orifice. Anywhere there's meat or tissue, make it go away using whatever power washer you have available. Let's get to washing. Okay, on the underside of that skull, I have been calling these little nodules forever. I guess the scientific name is Typanic Bull, B-U-L-L-A. Yeah, it took me like 45 minutes to look it up, so I hope I'm right. We're gonna knock that out, and then I'm gonna stick a wafer bit in there, a little 5 8 wafer bit, and wallow out that hole. That'll make the brain and everything come out nice and clean and give us a nice finished look. All right, next we're gonna pull those upper tusks or witters and then remove the nerve and then grab a hold of that sinus and pull out that entire septum. <laughs> Big words, now I'm just showing off. 
Moving on, we're gonna pull the bottom tusks or the cutters. Sometimes you need a little something to wiggle and pull these out. I like to use a sponge, that scotch Bright's my new best friend. Wiggle it out and then make sure you get in there and remove that nerve ending or put your power washer down there in that hole. Get that nerve out and then don't forget about the brain. They still just call it a brain, no fancy words. Just pull the brain, then give that skull a real good look. Just make sure you got 99% of the stuff off of it. Slide your teeth off into a heavy duty pasta strainer, give them a good rinse. And then once everything's kind of in order, we're gonna drop it down into a pot of the White Bone Creations mix. This is one part aqua silk, three parts water. I've got the link in the description for this product. You can buy it at a pool supply. I'm gonna bring this whole thing to a boil and then shut off the heat and rinse it clean. You can tell here just at first glance, even on a wet skull, that that product is the secret sauce for whitening and degreasing. However, pigs don't degrease with one shot. That is the very reason I redid this video. So I always hang them upside down to dry and then I'm gonna drop them into a five gallon bucket of straight acetone for one week. One week later. Did anybody else ever watch SpongeBob with their kids? It's a terrible decision. All right, this is a week later, exactly seven days. You can see the difference in the color of that acetone. See how it's foggy now? It's dissolved the oil in the bone. One of these skulls I washed on film. You just washed that. The one I had done three weeks prior is also in this bucket. So I'm just gonna pull them out, let them dry, see what I see, and then I'm gonna stick them back in the color batch. One more time in the color batch just to brighten them up and they should be completely and totally grease free. All right, here's what they look like about 20 minutes after I pulled them out of the acetone. The stuff that's drying is pure white and oil free. The other stuff looks patchy. It's just wet. So as I drop it into the peroxide, I give it five minutes. I rinse it good. Check out this finished product. I'm so impressed. It is the very reason I made this video because I can look anyone in the eye and say, you suffer to get pig skulls degreased. One week's time and acetone will fix that period. It will not hurt bone and it will not hurt antler. I have tested them now up to six months. Acetone is the answer. Whew, that seemed kind of like a soapboxy to me, like I was demanding that you put it in acetone. I'm just suggesting you do. All right, I keep my teeth separate. Each pig's got a separate pile, and then I just check those cutters to see which one fits, and then I glue in according. Now remember, always fill your bottom tusks. I've used everything under the sun from resins to two-part epoxies to super glue to now just regular old tub and tile caulk. Anything to hold them together. If you're in a dry or less humid environment, over time that they will split. They'll, they'll go right in half lengthwise. If you're somewhere where there's high humidity, you probably don't need to do this. Then I put a real thin coat of mop and glow on the skulls. I let them dry, and this is what the final product looks like. There they are, the finished pig skulls. Oh, and look who this is. Hold on. <laughs> the greatest animal of all time. My spirit animal, Mr. Beans. Hey, hey, come on. He's camera shy. Check out these skulls. Do they not look amazing? And then, uh, oh, my glue set in there. 
I tell people all the time, if I could pull out deer horns, I'd pull those out too. But tusks typically come back to like the third molar. They just don't fit together very well. All in all, wash your critters, make them beautiful, soak them in acetone for a week. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, beans. Beans. Thanks for watching. Beans. <laughs>